Hello, and welcome to Catholic Truths. Today we're going to be covering part two of our mini-series on the sacraments. Today we'll be discussing baptism. So, what is baptism? Baptism comes from Greek, and it means to plunge or to immerse. According to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, holy baptism is the basis of the whole Christian life, the gateway to life in the Spirit, and the door which gives access to the other sacraments. Through baptism, we are freed from sin, reborn and reborn as sons of God. We become members of Christ, are incorporated into the church, and made sharers in her mission. Baptism is the sacrament of regeneration through water in the word. Baptism is also referred to as the washing of regeneration and renewal by the Holy Spirit. So, who needs to be baptized? This is actually an issue that can um, be very dividing when discussing Catholicism versus Protestantism. Um, first of all, Matthew 3, 13 through 17 tells us the story that Jesus himself was baptized. And if we are to copy Christ, that's a strong indicator that we ourselves as Christians should be baptized. Acts 2, 38 says, repent and be baptized. It doesn't say repent and maybe be baptized. It says, and be baptized. Every one of you, every person in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. That is a very specific scripture right there. It's not an and or if you want to type of thing. It tells you exactly what to do. Baptism is the first step of Christian initiation. It is one of the only sacraments shared with Protestants. Um, adults are baptized. Of course, if someone is a non-Christian and they want to become Catholic or just any Christian, they typically are baptized. However, what cre um, creates a lot of controversy is that um, children, infants, can also be baptized. Um, the argument here is that children shouldn't be baptized because they're, they don't understand what's going on. They don't, under, they don't have an age of consent. In the Catholic Church, that doesn't matter because that's what confirmation is. They, they're confirming. Um, however, in baptism, this is something that deals with their overall soul. And I will discuss that here in just a moment. So how does baptism work? John 3, 5 says, Verily I say to you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and spirit, meaning you have to be baptized. The point of baptism is to wash away sins, especially original sin. Um, during baptism, one is immersed or has water poured on their heads. This is actually more ancient tradition to actually have the water poured. Um, three times in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And as I said, some non-Catholic baptisms are considered valid um, because if the baptism is actually done in that regard, then it's considered valid. I was um, raised in the Church of Christ, and when I was baptized, it was done in the name of the Holy Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And therefore, it is considered a valid sacrament, or a um, valid baptism. Um, after um, baptism in the Catholic Church, one is anointed with sacred chrism oil, and wears white to symbolize the putting on of Christ. And when um, I've seen it done also, but during baptism, they actually wear black and therefore the white comes on over that or they take the black off with the white on to symbolize the putting on of Christ. So who can actually baptize people? So obviously your bishops and priests can, your deacon can, um, if need to, a lay person can if there's not any of the other three available. But what a lot of people don't realize is even non-Christians can baptize you because it's not them that's the um, issue. It's you that's the issue. So if they are baptizing you and they're doing it following the, um, the platform of being in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, your baptism is still considered valid. Of course, this is in very extreme circumstances. So this has been a very brief discussion on what baptism is. If you... Um, want a more in-depth description of the Catholic view, I suggest picking up a copy of the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Um, there's a whole lot of ba about baptism in there. So next week, we'll be discussing confirmation. Thank you for watching. Please click that subscribe button below. Follow me on Twitter at Catholic underscore truths. Be sure to visit my Amino. Um, it's just called Catholics. You go to Amino. It's an um, app you download, and it's a great community, and everyone's welcome. Um, all links are provided in the description below. Thank you for watching and God bless.